everyone, it's me, Vintage Gaudi. Welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm in my car and that usually means I am going to a flea market and that's exactly the case. So lately, yeah, July and August um, here in Switzerland, they are not taking place so many flea markets because that these two months are like holiday seasons, vacation seasons, and there's literally nothing going on in this time. So um, this is the first flea market in a row of a few weeks that takes place. Um, it is now the 10th of July, uh, no, wait, 10th of August. <laughs> Somehow my brain is still back in July and, and June, I don't know, but we have August now, 10th of August. Um, and I just gonna go and visit this flea market. It is a smaller flea market usually. There's 50-50% chances. I have made already super good finds at this flea market, but I also um, went home empty-handed so it's um, it's a 50-50% chance to find something or not so um, I'm excited I'm excited if I will find something and after the flea market I just make around to my local thrift store because it is on my way back home so why not stop there and then I'm come back home and in case if I find something then yeah you will find the footage in the last part of this video so Stay tuned. Fingers crossed that there's something cool to find. Sorry for fingers crossed. <laughs> um, yeah, here in Switzerland we hold the thumb. That means good luck. And this is something different. But um, when I say fingers crossed, I mean <laughs> we hold the thumb, thumb, thumbs crossed that they will find something cool at this flea market. Now let's go. And here we go, welcome to the flea market and welcome to the very first sender, uh, seller there. Um, I'm doing today like a little voiceover um, from this flea market and I spotted at the very first table a little box with some Barbies in there, a little bag. And also the bag that I'm holding there is um, full of fashions. And um, I'm just grabbing through the stuff I found like here pregnant, I guess, Steffi love or what it is also this vendor had some Disney dolls and this dress caught immediately my eye I was like wow this is a stunning dress this must be Barbie right and also the doll wearing it oh she must be Barbie but then I saw it has a tag and to my surprise it says made in China eh? how could this amazing dress be made in China okay but not Barbie in this case and also I placed the doll back in also, as I mentioned, they had Disney dolls. Um, as you can see here, I guess it is Esmeralda. And here's another doll wearing this amazing dress. And I immediately knew this is Barbie from the material used. And also it had a tag under there. So um, I placed the doll aside because I wanted the dress, not the doll. Still searching through the stuff and hoping to find maybe an older vintage Barbie. But instead I have found this Cinderella wearing a, also a Barbie outfit. Um... So I placed her as well aside because I was interested in the outfits and not specific in the doll. A cute little Kelly doll was in there too. Um, now, yeah, still searching through the stuff, hoping to find somehow a holy grail or something like that. That would have been nice. And at a point, um, yeah, then um, reaching the bottom, looking... <laughs> Who is there? And then I quickly realized there are more the moderner dolls in there. So like this one here, for example, I'm not sure what she's wearing. Actually, from this point of view, um, I don't know what she's wearing, um, but it looked older. And at the point, the seller was so nice and said, take this stuff on the table and empty it. And then you can research or search through it there. Um, so it's ergonomical for my back. This dress I immediately recognize. I have it already and it is super cut as you can see here. It is missing like a ruffle part over it. It was um, from this uh, birthday greeting cards. So the dresses and the card itself that came with it. So now I'm here sorting out the outfits that I think are clones or handmade and the things that I th believe are Barbie for example this top here I placed aside this one has actually no tag in there in there but from the way it is made I was thinking it should be Barbie this one was a surprise I was thinking yeah this is a clone or like Cindy Petra whatever but it had a Barbie tag in there so really interesting fine 
And this one, I guess, was handmade. This one was interesting. Handmade again. Um, a wedding dress, no tag in there. It is so hard when they have no tags. It's really difficult. This is from Belle, so I knew Disney dolls, so this belongs to that Belle in the package, but um, I'm not collecting the newer Disney dolls and so on. Nice trousers, seems to be handmade, not sure. This one is actually, well, where, where do I pick it? Yeah, this one, for example, um, here we got uh, Jasmine's outfit, but this I guess was Barbie and um, yeah, I leave it behind because I looked at the inside and you can see the hem is not trimmed and I was like, oh, this must be kind of Petra outfit or something, but now looking at the footage, I guess it was a Barbie outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so that means Barbie fashions is not always really hemmed and really well sewn together. This, by the way, is like an aerial tail. So um, sometimes I place aside stuff when I'm thinking it's not Barbie, but looking back it is. For example, this amazing medieval dress I placed aside and yeah. So here we got modern stuff. This is definitely something I recognize immediately. I have it. This belongs to a skipper outfit, teen skipper, I guess was it um, teen something, teen time something. I have that. So um, yeah, I placed it first aside to the things that I might want to have. And later on, I sorted them out again. So more handmade stuff. Um, then what do we have here? Newer stuff. Oh, well, yeah, it was also mixed with newer stuff in there. So it's quite a mixture of older like 90s stuff and newer this I immediately recognize um, it has also Barbie tag I placed it aside cute outfit I knew I don't have it have to come with me <laughs> this is newer as well and this outfit here I don't know um, it looked cool but I was not sure if it's Barbie or not so I placed it back in the bag and here we got some trouser shorts maybe Cully girls or something like that placed it back in so um Maybe I missed some stuff, some good stuff, but uh, yeah. Here are the ones that I've chosen. Like these dress are the pieces that I really want, that I want to buy. As well as this one. I am still not sure with the top. So in case if you know where this top goes. These are placed back because um, it is broken. The, the um, yeah, kind of top collar part is cut off. I don't need that if it's in that rough condition. Um, then it may click. So you see me rushing back to the um, bag where the dolls were in there and I quickly grabbed this doll. Um, she had a stunning makeup and um, I knew she must be special and guess what? She goes with that medieval dress. Meanwhile, um, I went over to the next seller and I found this interesting swimsuit. It looks so 90s, 80s, 90s. I hoped it was like Barbie or something like that. Unfortunately, that not, does not fit me. Otherwise, I probably would have bought it. But um, that, that swimsuit had a vibe, really had a vibe. Um, over here we have some books that I actually was searching through, maybe good finds, Barbie finds, whatever finds. But um, here we got Bill and Beth. And that's interesting because usually this um, artwork is from Papa Moll, like this, you see Papa Moll. Um, also a huge thing here in Switzerland, not sure if it's international, but in Switzerland, every kid knows Papa Moll. There are a lot of books out there, really um, well-known stuff. Um, and cute. They are also from the 90s, early 2000s. I went over to this one. This had a bag with plushies in there. I was like, yeah, maybe I can finally find one Care Bear or one Doodle Bear. I have never found a Care Bear or Doodle Bear here in Switzerland. But still, it was um, yeah, not the find there. <laughs> um, they had also some puzzles. Um, you know, I'm interested in puzzles as well, but not in this big puzzle. So 500 pieces is really big. Um, but um, they had nothing interesting for me, um, but they had also this like baby born stuff and it's always worth to check in this baby born clothing and accessories, but sometimes they are hiding Barbie stuff in there too. And I was hoping there is maybe, you know, the bubble cut in there or something like that. But um, yeah, it was like... Uh, fail <laughs> they had only um baby born stuff in there but they had the cutest little um rain boots there really cute but sadly no barbie then i got to this box where it says every piece is one swiss franc and i found this look at it it has a pony in that picture frame 
Oh my goodness, I was quickly checking if it says Hasbro somewhere and it says 1998 Hasbro and in the drawer itself there were some accessories. I was not sure um, if it belongs together but for one Swiss franc it had to come with me. I also choose this, um, uh, what is it, the Lego doll. Um, I was thinking that her bag she had there on um, belongs to Barbie so it's also a thing that I picked up so these two pieces I definitely took home with me and now I'm searching through if there's something hidden that I um, have not seen yet but um, there were just like purses um, some I don't know cups and porcelain similar whatever but nothing exciting so yeah exciting in terms of um, more pony stuff or Barbie stuff then I have found another box. This is another seller. They had also a box written on each piece one Swiss franc. They had these kind of comics. They are like Mickey Mouse or Lustige Taschenbücher um, comics. Not interested in them, but they are cute. But yeah, I was placing them aside to hope and reach the bottom of this uh, box. And yeah, you can see some hair. I found some Barbies. Sadly, they are newer Barbies. So this is definitely a newer one. And this is like a mermaid. She's really cute, really nice one. But I'm not that type era type collector of Barbies. <laughs> was hoping there's still more in there. Then I have found these stickers. Cute little, yeah, little. It's huge, basically. Um, 2013 Hello Kitty stickers. Oh, they are so adorable. Um, yeah, had to place them aside, digging again through the box maybe finding some other cool stuff so they had like literally everything in there so it was like a random not trash box but like all the stuff you don't know where to put place it in a box and so on so we got also this tweety purse it was actually really cute and it came from flick flack flick flack is actually um from swatch you know um swiss watches and swatch is a huge swiss brand and they own flick flack and flick flack is like the line for children for little kids and so so um, interesting that this um, purse with Tweety on it was actually Flick Flack um, brand really interesting then I found these Mickey Mouse stickers um, I also placed them aside still digging through the stuff still hoping to find something nice then I have found these um, McDonald's toys it is Birdie uh, from 1992 the color scheme is just the coolest really love that <laughs> So, um, yeah, placing a little bit aside, still digging through the stuff, still hoping for find something. Also, there was a cassette like on the left corner, BB Blocksberg. Not interested in that. If it would have been a Barbie cassette or something interesting, yeah, but not in BB Blocksberg. So now I'm thinking back and forward, what should I buy? <laughs> I went over to the next um, seller and they had like also a box with this more moderner pony unicorn in there and it actually is on rollerblades and then the seller came to me and said yeah it works you can place it on the ground and pushing a button and then this rolls. Again I have found this um, is it a G4 pony? Not sure I guess it is a G4 pony. Unfortunately really rough condition it had like paints over it maybe um i could have restored it i could have get rid of it but this is not the type of pony that i'm collecting and also we got this doll really cute doll not the thing that i really want now the seller is coming over to me and showing that this um unicorn pony thingy is working and making noises and whatever <laughs> was quite cute but um yeah i had to say no i'm not interested in it then i have found vintage barbies here, sadly, I'm a little bit disappointed. These are like the type of sellers that um, you have often to deal with. They have astronomic ideas on how much a Barbie doll should come, uh, cost because they wanted 20 Swiss francs for each of it. Make 60 for all three. That's totally not in my budget. Then she went over 40 Swiss francs for all of them. That makes an average from 13 plus um, Swiss francs. And I was like, nah, look at the hair. Look at the condition. The one has still like rubber band in her hair. C clearly it is like um, Teresa, Hollywood hair Teresa. She is worth a lot, but she had also a lot Long hair but nah I was like sorry I cannot pay that so um, I left these girls behind I can spoiler that I am yeah leaving them there unfortunately I would lo ha have loved to have them but then later on I knew I have all three of them already 
yes, my t my um, Hollywood hair Teresa has not the long hair, but ah uh, no, it is it is so hard dealing with that, and I simply had no energy to deal with the sellers like she came yeah they are older they are um i don't know vintage blah blah yeah but have you seen the condition i have to clean them they had stuff stuck in their hair so yeah no no and yeah but i got a cheer up for me i have found this bag with my little ponies in there i'm now searching through the stuff looking um <laughs> who is there i've seen a lot of fakey ponies i've seen a lot of like little g4 ponies and newer ponies but i also spotted a g3 pony and i spotted two g2 ponies so um i was asking the seller how much is the bag because um if you buy the whole bag it is for me cheaper than to buy single ones um it turned out so um yeah i got the whole bag home with me hello everyone and welcome to the reveal of the things that i bought at that flea market i was honestly not expecting to find anything there at this flea market because um it was smaller than usual usually this huge it is bigger and this time it was just round about i would say 20 25 sellers there so not much usually they are like double more so like 50 60 sellers but you see i have found some stuff and that's great that's amazing i have barbie stuff over here and i have also a lot of ponies oh my goodness what an amazing day really um where do we want to start i guess this time we are starting with the barbie stuff so um i was also saying that i go to the flea market but also to the thrift store at the thrift store itself i did not film but i found this barbie book i have it already it is barbie of the mask and ball so it's like these comic books it's so adorable but um i can uh, trade this to someone who really likes it and wants to have it so it is such a cute little book and I love this artwork. I love everything about these books. I took it. It's so cute. This is the piece that I found at the thrift store that I did not film. But now let's come to the things that I have found at the flea market that is Barbie related. I have some fashions over here and I have two dolls here. I guess I will go with the fashions first. Um, let me just start with these trousers here so well i have to cover a little bit the face because um the camera wants to focus on their faces <laughs> now these trousers were actually on i guess it was on this doll here she was wearing these trousers and the top and um i first was like not recognizing where these trousers go i was like ah oh, this feels cheap the velcro is really cheap ah, this must be a moderner stuff or something like that so first i did not recognize um i took off her outfit so she was wearing this with an other top and i took off the outfit and changed it with one that i really wanted so i asked the seller can i exchange this stuff and so on. so yeah go ahead so um i almost left these trousers there but in the end before i was going to pay I was like thinking maybe go through the stuff again you don't know maybe you recognize something and yeah I then recognized these trousers and I recognized the pattern and it was like yes this is obviously what who who from who are these trousers these trousers are actually belonging to the 2001 palm beach skipper the shorts of her palm beach line was the one of the early lines that um had painted on swimsuits and painted on bikinis and so on but um skipper had painted on bikini but she came also with um trousers with the shorts and so the, this um, shorts belong to the palm beach skipper from 2001 now let's go forward i have also found these um leggings or trousers i I'm not sure where these leggings go, but um, I'm pretty sure they are Barbie. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure they go to Skipper, I guess. Skipper, um, for Stacy, they are all too long. So I guess it is Skipper from the size and everything. Could maybe also fit Barbie, not sure. But um, I picked them up. They are cool. You can uh, always use some pair of shorts for the dolls or trousers. Oh, well, actually, they are like kind of three-quarter trousers. <laughs> 
then um, one of the other things that I immediately knew it is Barbie, but I could first not recognize where it belongs, is this dress here. I was like, yep, yeah, this is definitely Barbie. It has also Barbie tag in here, so to prove it, it has a purple tag, Ginny tag, um, but I could not find where it goes until I got some help in identifying and it turns out that this is actually from the year um, 1994 and belongs to the birthday greeting card. So there were like these dresses attached to a greeting card and it says happy birthday and so you can um, send this card to your yeah, friends, whatever. <laughs> So it's really cool. So, well, yes, this is the dress. It is in quite okay condition here. The ruffles are a little bit destroyed, but all in all, it looks quite good. It's okay. Um, glad I picked it up. So the, the seller was there pretending five um, Swiss francs for the dolls with outfit and for each of the separate outfit, one Swiss francs. It is really up in the higher price category. But um, I was like, yeah, why not get it? So um, these are stuff that I don't have. And um, now I have this one from the happy birthday greeting card. That's great. Then um, this dress also helped me someone identify. It is a super interesting dress. And when I first saw it in that lot of clothing, I was like, ah, this looks like, I don't know, Patriot dress or something from the material used. Velcro is moderner. Ah, and this cannot be Barbie, but <laughs> I made this turn. It has a Barbie tag in there. So I had to take it with me and it turns out that this piece belongs to 2002 Chic Barbie. So I guess that maybe the 2002 Chic Barbie was there in the Barbie um, basket and I simply did not recognize her because all the dolls so up, well, newer from 2000 and newer, I cannot all recognize. So um, I'm probably left the doll that belonged to this dress, but I have the dress now and it's really an interesting material. So it has like this golden uh, material on it and some yeah, kind of dots in blue and, and um, red. So and it is not faded. So first I was thinking, wow, this is super faded. This should be maybe roses or something. But no, this is the pattern that actually this dress came with. So um, great. 2002. I would, ne ne I would have never guessed that this is from 2002. Now, um, one piece that I cannot recognize yet is this one here. I'm actually not sure if it's still Barbie or not, but um, from the way it is made, I would say it is Barbie because we have here a great Velcro. It is sewn together with uh, two stitching lines. The edges are really smooth. I guess this must be something from Barbie, from the Velcro used. I would say it is definitely something late 90s, mid to late 90s. But I could not find out where this goes. It's the top. Um, it has also no Barbie tag in there. But from the way it is made, um, it must be something Barbie related. So I hope I can figure it out where it belongs. In case if you have an idea, please write me down in the comment section down below. So I have this unknown piece. Next up is this dress here. Um, this was quite rough to identify, but I managed to get it together. Um, this is definitely Barbie. It has as well a Barbie tag in there. So um, when the tags are still there, then you can definitely be sure it is a Barbie piece. Um, unfortunately, the elastic band around the puffy sleeves is um, not in shape anymore. So I guess it should be real tight. So it gives this puffy sleeve moment, but all in all, it looks quite cute. Um, the roses are a little bit discolored, but it is a quite okay dress. And I could first also not even <laughs> find out where it belongs. But then um, with a little bit of luck, it turns out that this piece is actually from 1995 Barbie Bridal Collection, the number 68065 minus 94. So um, this belongs to a set that was called Bridal Collection. It was included, I guess, three white dresses and one of these pink dress, exactly this one here. It came with a flower bouquet, with a whale, with shoes. So really cute one. And um, I don't have it. So I have it now for my collection. And that's really cool. Really nice, cute dress. 
Then, now we're coming already to the dolls. So, this is one doll that I immediately recognized because of her amazing green eyes. Um, this was actually a doll that I had as a child back then. I still have the trousers from my childhood, but I don't have the doll um, kept from my childhood and the, the top that she came with. But um, I have her now already. I rebought her, have her once in new in box, and I have her once out of box in really excellent condition. She is unfortunately not in the best condition, but I picked her up. I could not leave her behind. It was like Oh no, you come with me, even though if I probably don't keep you, but at least you get a new hairstyle, so I washed her, it's really cute, um, kind of little makeover, so she's like smooth again and ready to go. Um, this is actually from the year 1998 and is the Barbie style. Um, she came with black trousers and the green top with some kind of flowers of let, let me just show you i can pick her up so this is how she should look like this is how she came she had a different outfit on but um yeah this is the original one the original outfit that belongs to her and that's why i immediately recognized her because of her um green uh ears earrings and the green eyes so i knew wow this must be her, the one that I had from childhood, but I rebought her. So um, she's really cool. Look at these amazing eyes. And they're so really intense green. Love it. The hair is not cut. She came with this hairstyle. And I'm really happy how it turned out because it was a little bit frizzy. But she has the smooth hair again. Unfortunately, um, she went through rough times because she is missing her um, thumb over here. The hands are really chewed on. The other one is also has like kind of cut over here. And also her um, feet are in a rough condition. So she was definitely not worth five Swiss francs to pick it up. But um, I placed an outfit on her and somehow I could simply not left her behind. So I was like, oh, well, my dear, <laughs> poor thing, come with me. Um, even though I overpaid for her, but um, it's quite okay. It's okay. And um, she looks good from the hair itself. Luckily, there's nothing cut, so really cool. Um, yeah, not sure at this point what I will do with her, if I will keep her a little bit in my collection, then release her in the wild, or um, what I will do, maybe trade or something. But yeah, I got her now, and that's really cute. The dress she's wearing is actually also a mystery at this point while filming because I don't know where this dress goes. It is definitely Barbie as well. It has a purple Barbie genuine tag over here. But um, I tried with Google Lens. I tried to research. I asked someone um, if they have an idea and so on. But I don't know where this dress belongs. I guess here it should be more like a golden belt, like similar to this bow. But with the time, this golden material disappeared. So it is just like a grayish belt. And something special about this dress is as well, it has two Velcros. Usually when they have two Velcros, it is an indication that it is like a knockoff dress or yeah, simply not Barbie. But there are Barbie stuff that came with two Velcros. Here you can see the proof. Um, and they're also not stitched together so well that I was first really thinking this is not Barbie. This can't be Barbie, it's not so well made or something like that, but it is, it has a tag, it is. So in case if you know who or wh where this dress belongs, please write me down in the comment section down below. I really appreciate it. Now let's come to the last Barbie doll from this flea market. And that one is really a cool find. Unexpected. So, um... In the Barbie lot, I was digging through the Barbies, searching for more like older dolls, and I've seen her. And I was like, oh, from the eyes itself, she must definitely be something special. She looks really high-end, <laughs> I would say. She looks really nice, but she has all over here cut hair. So her hair will are cut. Also in the back, the hair will cut as well. And I was then le leaving her behind. I was like, oh, what should I do with a doll that cut hair? Also her, um, I would say, breasts. I don't know what happens with them, but it looks like they melted 
I don't know. <laughs> so I was really leaving her behind, but I had her a little bit in mind. I was like, she must be something really special. She must. There's no way because she looks so gorgeous. Then um, I, w I digged through the bag with the clothing and then I found this outfit here and I was like, ooh, this looks pretty good. Let's have a check if it has a tag. And yes, it has a tag that says here Barbie Genui. And then one of a sudden in my brain it made like click. I was like, wait, when there is a, such an extravaganza dress in that pile of clothing, then maybe the doll must be in there too. And then she immediately came in my mind and was like, wait, that, cut, that, that has to be her. It, there is no other option. It has to be her that goes to this dress. And yes, it is her. So I picked her up um, without researching. So I just was counting one and one together and was like, yeah, there is no other option. It must be her that goes to this amazing dress. And it is. And guess what? She is the 2000s Barbie Millennium Princess. How cool is that? A Millennium Princess. She's 24 years old now. Um, even though she's really in a rough condition, her hair is super cut. I placed the hair over here and took it over to cover a little bit the cut hair underneath. But still, I have this strange of piece here that um, is too short. So maybe with a little bit of hair gel, I can fix it in the back over here. So I gave her this side ponytail to cover a little bit all the cutting hair over her forehead. So yeah, really, <laughs> really unexpected to find the 2000s Millennium Princess Barbie. How cool is that? And she has still her original necklace on and she has also her original earrings on. Her hand is missing the ring and also is chewed on the same on this side. So unfortunately also not in the very best condition, but how cool is that? So at least I got a doll with the original dress and the parts of her original jewelry. That is really cute. So amazing. 2000s millennium Barbie, really cute. And look at this dress. This is so extravaganza, <laughs> really kind of mill me medieval dress here also with these puffy sleeves and this velvet material but also with silver over here so cute really adorable yes that was so far from my barbie finds at that flea market um i just go with the other little finds that i have made for example i have found let me just take this a little bit in the center I have found this one here. Actually, I don't know why I picked it up, but um, it was cute. It was cute. It is um, from 1992 and it's from the Happy Meal, the birdie, birdie, here the bird, <laughs> on the scooter. And this color scheme is simply something like late 80s, early 90s. We got this mint combi combined with purple and pink and she in yellow. So that typical era coloring color scheme so here we can see um, the 1992 mcdonald's actually also not sure what i will do with her but i kind of like to display her somewhere so she's really nice really cute birdie <laughs> really adorable one of the next things that I picked up was this one here. This is actually Lego and um, it came in this bag. It was also in a box that says everything, each piece, one Swiss franc. And it came in this um, little see-through bag. And I was first thinking, oh, this beautiful bag with the flower over here, that could be Barbie. That must have belonged to a Barbie. Somehow I had this connection, was like thinking, yeah, well, uh, then buy it so I can place this piece to a Barbie. But it turned out it does not belong to Barbie. It does belong really to this Lego girl over here. <laughs> and usually I'm not a Lego collector. So um, I probably would have passed on this if I would not have thought that this <laughs> handbag belongs to a Barbie doll. But it belongs to her. So this is actually from the year 1999, Lego Belleville Princess Rosalie. So um, I got now a princess from 1999 from Lego. <laughs> and um, she's really adorable. The face of her, her screening, her eyes screening is so beautiful. 
and she still has her um, ball gown dress on. This is actually really pretty with two um, roses over here and all the flower detailing. She has this veil that you can actually turn over and then <laughs> do play a little bit around. She has a crown on, so also really cute. And she came really with this handbag. So <laughs> she can carry this around. Um, then included in this little uh, plastic bag, she came with this platform. And this is obviously also Lego, so you can place this wherever you want. You can play around with this stuff, so it's really great. And it has even drawers that you can open, super tiny drawers. One and two drawers over here, so really cute. Um, and really nice. So they have also some kind of roses on, on it. So really pretty cute. And she came also with this kind of chest, uh, uh, ch chest tre treasure box <laughs> is the word that I'm searching. Uh, treasure box. And she had this stuff included in here. And actually I'm not sure if this belongs to her because on the pictures online um, I could not have seen anything of these pieces that um, she came with this stuff, but um, here we got some gems. We have like a ruby, sapphire, diamond and smaragd or emerald. So really cute. And we have two of these kind of bows that you can attach somewhere. And we got this star piece. Really cute. That was all included in this treasure box. And actually at this point I don't know where it originally belongs. If it's Lego, if it's maybe something else, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I now have um, this princess from 1999 um, Lego girl in bought here at this flea market. Not sure actually on her. She's really cute. I think I will might keep her a little bit in my collection. Well, collection. I don't have a, a, a Lego collection, but yeah, I will keep her somewhere and then when it's time to let her go, then she can go. Next up was also this cute um, Hello Kitty stickers. Um, they were also in the box where it says each piece is one Swiss franc. So these sticker pieces were also one Swiss franc. And I was like first, yeah, that's a quite expensive. So uh, I don't know, but I checked it is um, Sanrio, but from 2013. So it's also 11 years old. Um, and that's okay. So one Swiss franc, it is complete. It has all the Hello Kitty stickers on it. So really cute, really nice, and um, yeah, I will also use them. I will use them, but they are really adorable. So we got here one with a photo camera, one that is painting something, balloon, and really cute one. So I took them with me, it looked kind of cool. <laughs> but now, I guess one of the highlights as well from this amazing flea market are all of these ponies. So, except this dresser here, these were all in one bag. The bag was um, written on um, like 15 Swiss francs for ho the whole bag. I was like, ah, that's a little bit expensive. So she went down and um, said, yeah, you can have it for 10 Swiss francs. I was like, oh, still a little bit expensive. But I spotted a G3 pony and I spotted two G2 ponies in there. So I was like, yeah, okay, 10 Swiss francs is okay for the whole bag. But let's start first with the fakies. The fakies, the clones, the, uh, the clones ponies that I also immediately saw, um, are these four pieces over here. So we got this one that has this cutie mark, like I don't know, a sun and maybe sunflakes. Uh, uh, um, how is it called? Uh, snowflakes or something like that. The head is really loose. And one thing that you can tell they are knockoffs. They have literally no markings on everywhere. So not on the on the um, bottom or on the hoofs or something. So yeah, this is definitely clone or fakies, but they're kind of cute. So cute eyes. Um, also the cutie mark is really adorable. Then we have a little bigger one and you can see the, she's missing like literally all of her hair. <laughs> so yeah, um, also adorable cutie mark here. Some more kind of flowers or whatever. Cute eyes, really pretty, really, okay made, no markings at all. Then we have, for example, this in white has actually the same cutie mark as this in pink, but different color scheme. Also really adorable. Um, the hair quality, you can tell this is not the good quality. This is hair. Yeah, 
<laughs> not in really best condition. And the last one is this one here that is actually not really the same, but kind of similar. So all of these three little ponies have the same cutie mark, but in different color scheming. So also this one has beautiful eyes, really cute. I will not keep the clone um, ponies because um, I simply don't want to grow my pony collection um, with uh, knockoffs and with clone um, ponies. So my space for my ponies are, is limited. So it's really not a big space for them. And so I don't want to fill up the space with clones. But um, they are cute and I can definitely um, give them away, trade or sell them somehow. Next up, um, where do we want to go with, what do we want to do? Um, do let me just, just do with the little ones over here. So I have, what is it, six of these kind of unicorns or similar to unicorns. When I look them up, um, they're, I guess, not specifically my little pony. They're just simply unicorns and horses and something like that. And when I look them up, they are actually um, for the um, UI, so the Kinder Surprise Eggs. Um, they came in this like yellow inside of this Kinder Surprises eggs as yeah, kind of toy for the kids. And I guess it must be all six from a series. So we have a blue unicorn, this orange one, the green one that is actually um, staying on the back hooves. And we have this like brown, yellow and pink one. So they're actually quite cute, but the faces, look at this. How, what is this for a strange horse face? I don't know, but um, it's really, yeah, <laughs> it's really interesting. So um, not, I, not, I guess it's not My Little Pony related, but adorable to have like six of them. We'll not keep them. So um, yeah, <laughs> they are there and will go one day. Then I also have found this one in the bag. You probably recognize this unicorn from, um, what's it called? Uh, what was the movie again? I, I cannot tell it in, in English, the name of it, but you know, it's so fluffy, the unicorn. Yeah, <laughs> um, the Minions, ah, of course, the Minions was the movie name. And um, the little girl was there um, so searching for unicorns and then she saw this unicorn and it's so fluffy. Oh my goodness. And interesting enough, you can take off these parts. You can also take off this. So huh? interesting. I'm not sure what I will do with it, but I guess I will place it or give it away with the other unicorns from the Kinder Surprise egg. <laughs> but this is adorable, really cute. Um, next up are these ponies over here. And actually, I'm not quite sure about that either. If they are really ponies, so like from My Little Ponies or if they are knockoffs or something. I was first thinking they are maybe um, these, uh, what's it called, petite ponies or piccoli, piccoli ponies. Um, it could be, but I'm not quite sure. But they have numbers on the bottom, so I don't know if you can see. But here it says number one, and this one has like a two. This one has, what do you have, like also a two, and this is also one. So not sure. In case if you know where these ponies belong, then write me down the comment section down below. Um, interesting enough, they have all like black eyes, except this one here, here it's missing. So this, uh, this black piece is like kind of a half of a pearl attached to the eyes. So here they somehow that eyeball <laughs> uh, disappeared, but here they have it still on. So yeah, not sure who these are, but maybe you have an idea and you can write me down the comment section down below. Then what else do we have? Um, yeah, now we are coming to the real My Little Ponies. Let me just start with a kind of more the moderner stuff. <laughs> For example, we got this one here. Uh, I guess this is from the Friendship is Magic series. It is from 2014. Um, breezy. I guess it's Breezy, the name of it, G4. Um, really cute. First I was thinking, oh my goodness, what is this for a strange animal with these thin legs? Huh? Um, but yeah, it turned out it is a butterfly and it belongs to the My Little Pony, G4. Hopefully I'm saying it right, 2014. So really cute. Not sure. I think I will not keep it. I'm not this G4 collector, um, but it is quite a cool find to have this 
cute like butterfly breezy <laughs> really cute then where do we want to go next um this one here i guess this is rainbow dash because of the sign of it um, and of course of the kind of similar to rainbow coloring but i'm not sure if it's if it is from 2015 so also g4 um really adorable eyes so cute nice pick nice find Next up, which one do we have next? Where do we want to go? Oh, let me just go with this one here. This is super interesting. It is kind of green translucent pony. It has this kind of Pegasus wings, really cute. And this is from, I guess it was released in a blind bag in, um, I don't know the year. I don't know which year it was released. But um, the name of it is Mary May, so I'm hopefully I'm saying it right. Mary May um, came in a blind bag and has this cute like sunflowers or flower symbol. But I like that it's kind of see-through in green. Really cute, really nice one. Next up, um, where do we want to go next? I would say we are going with this one here. This is one that I really liked because it has this kind of cool water theme. So um, it has like, I don't know, stars in there or some confettis and then you can play around. It has water in it and then shake it and whatever. And it, it, is, it is cool to play. It is really cool to play. This one is actually also from 2014 that makes it the G4 pony. It is called Rainbow Shimmer Princess Celestia. <laughs> Okay, so we got the princess pony. Um, it came with this piece here that I actually think it is original to her. Maybe it's used as a crown, but here it, they placed it on it as like a necklace. Um, cutie mark wise, she has the sun. So it makes um, really rain, well, rainbow is not, but shimmer, princess Celestia makes sense. <laughs> so really cute um, pony. Also, this is one that I will not keep, even though it is a lot of fun to, to play with it, but she's nice. I washed also her hair, so these ponies um, with the hair, I washed them all. I cleaned them because they had like fuzzy hair. And so she has like smooth hair again, <laughs> really nice, cute face, unicorn by the way, really cool. And this water feature, adorable, love it. <laughs> but still will not keep it because my space is limited for these ponies. Next up, which one do we want to go next? Yellow one. <laughs> this one is also really cute. It is from 2010 G4 Fluttershy. Um, Fluttershy makes maybe sense because it has a cutie mark like these um, butterflies. So really adorable. Um, but from the eyes, I'm not so a fan of it. So when I see these eyes, it looks like they are kind of insecure. It is, yeah, it is um, Fluttershy, but kind of insecure, kind of next to I'm crying or something. So that's just me, my unpopular opinion, but uh, these eyes give me that vibe um even though it is also g4 i will not keep it but it is cute it has like this cute pink butterflies as a cutie mark also the pegasus wings here so it is all in all adorable cute pony i love this pink hair or like light rose colored hair but definitely one that i will not keep and then next up is this one here this is also from the same year 2010 g4 princess celestial so I'm not sure if these two princesses kind of are the same but different generations or so. I'm not sure on that. Could be because she is Princess Celestial, she is Princess Celestia. Yeah, could make sense. They are like the same ones but different releases. Um, I like her translucent wings. They are also really cool. Um, she has molded on hair. Um, but the tail is like hair, so you can brush it, style it, it's a really cute one from 2010. Cutie mark, the star, so yeah, really nice. Now we're coming to the cool things from that lot, from that <laughs> pony lot. Um, we're going with the G3. 
this one here. This was not so hard to identify because it says here who it is. It is Pinkie Pie. It is Pinkie Pie from 2008. Wave 5 makes it this pony. And I love that it says here Pinkie Pie. We got the balloons on it. So really cute. We have also a hanger. And I guess I have found the Pinkie Pie earlier this year or maybe last year. But um, it is not so unfamiliar pony for me. So I definitely recognize that I've seen this kind of cutie mark um, <laughs> a while ago or so but um, yeah and it has tinsel we love tinsel I love tinsel who do do you love tinsel <laughs> I love it it's so cute so we got tinsel over here in a mixed hair color in like white and pink or well my, or light rose so again white and light rose with tinsel the same in the tail also i cleaned this pony it has like it had like markings over here um this spot with the yellowish on the forehead or on the head i could not remove so um this is just soaked in the plastic um, here are the markings, so it shows that it's definitely an original My Little Pony because here it says the logo and here um, we got the Hasbro sign, 2007 Hasbro, um, but releases in 2008, Pinkie Pie Wave number 5. It's so cute. I'm not sure if I will keep it, but maybe a little bit, so yeah. <laughs> then, um, let me just go with this one first. We have a G2, my little pony. Actually, these three pieces left here belongs to G2, my little pony. And that's just amazing because I have like literally never found G2, my little ponies. But in the last few months, so like one, two, three months, I found lately so many stuff from G2, my little pony. That is just cool. Um, yeah. Amazing! I have two of it and I have a dress that belongs actually also to G2 My Little Pony. Starting with this one here. This is actually from the year 1998 and it's called Wing Song. The Wing Song. Wing Song. <laughs> um, hope I'm saying it right. It has this cutie mark. It is like a bird's house on a tree. Maybe that's why it's called Wing Song. Not sure. Um, this G2 My Little Pony has still the pearls in the eyes. So silver pearls, really adorable, and it came with a special feature. Um, the, the nose of this pony is actually magnetic. So that means this pony came in a set with like magnetic stuff. Um, I guess it came with a bird, it came with like other accessories, and it's supposed to pick up like treats. So um, with this nose, it picked up some stuff and then it looks like it is eating it. So um, that was the feature behind it. Unfortunately, I guess the hair is cut um, and also the tail. I washed it, I brushed it, you, you can brush it through it. But still here at the end, the tail is frizzy. I cannot get it back smooth again, but um, I guess it was cut. The hair is cut, I guess maybe also this hair was cut one day. But um, yeah, it was really cute. So we got here the hooves also with some markings on over here and here. So we definitely know this is a legit original G2 My Little Pony from the year 1998. So cool, really adorable. Next up, and these two kind of belong together. This is actually a funny story from that flea market. So in the footage you have might seen when I found this dresser. It was in a box, in a cardboard box, and that says every piece one Swiss franc. And I was like, oh, let's have a closer look, watching over the box. And then I see this drawer and was like, huh, this looks interesting. And then I saw this picture on it. I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, pony. Oh, this is, belongs to my little pony. First I was thinking, oh, G1, nice. But yeah, no, it's not G1. You turn it over, then you can see here the markings. It says 1998 Hasbro. That says definitely it is... Um, my Little Pony, but the late 90s are G2 ponies. So, um, but still a great find. It was like for one Swiss franc, uh, you're coming home with me. <laughs> it is a dresser. Um, this dresser actually came in a set together with Moonshadow as a G2 My Little Pony. So we got a pony and this dresser. Um, one thing that is quite interesting, I opened it and I saw that it has a lot of accessories in there. But I'm actually at this point not sure if this accessories belongs really to My Little Pony. We have like this comp and I was thinking this might be 
this looks Barbie. It has this rose on it, so I guess this is a Barbie item. But then we have like these perfume bottles. We have like this yellow bottle, we got this spray bottle over here, we got like a round shape bottle and also this kind of bottle perfume thing. And from the color scheme they are not matching to the um, dresser. And when I looked up I have seen that this dresser came not with extra perfume bottles. Um, from the bottom of it I would say they might go maybe with the Lego. So I guess this belongs to Lego, um, somehow some set of a Lego piece. So that's what I'm guessing. Also from the cutting it's round shape. So maybe these are Lego stuff. Then it also came with like two of these red bows. And here I'm actually again not sure. Oh, one is a butterfly, one is a bow. Actually also not sure if this is Lego, where this goes. No idea. We have a white flower as well and this white flower somehow reminds me of a G2 My Little Pony. So some of these ponies had like flowers that go went here over the ear. I'm not sure. Could it be pony? Could it be G2 My Little Pony accessories? This, this and this maybe? Then we have also these flowers over here actually as well. Not sure where this goes. And we have the crown. This crown looks similar to the Lego um, princess that I have. Um, where did I place her? You see this is the same crown, so I guess this belongs, this crown goes to the Lego princess as well as maybe the perfume bottles, but could this be pony, could this be pony and where do this go? <laughs> so mystery over mystery, these are the pieces that I found all in this drawer, so they were all included in here with that little comp that I am guessing it is Barbie. I. I guess so, it, it must be, or I don't know, or did my little ponies came with such little brushes, not sure. But back to the dresser itself, as I mentioned, this is from year 1998, belongs to the G2 My Little Pony from Moon Shadow. But this picture here shows actually Ivy, another G2 My Little Pony. You see what I have here? from a different seller. This pony was in that lot with the other tons of uh, My Little Pony stuff. This is one seller, this is the second seller, both at the same flea market. I managed to find the pony that is here in this picture frame next to it. How? Uh, this cannot be, this is, this is so, this is, uh, I cannot say it in words, but how is that possible? Uh, this is really, really something I re sometimes wonder how much of luck I have to find like matching things at the same place from two different people. Ah, amazing. Uh, now I always uh, already revealed who this pony is. This is 1998 Pretty Parlor Ivy G2. Comes from, um, is in the Sky Shimmer pose. I guess it is the Sky Shimmer pose. And it has this cutie mark over here that kind of looks like leaves. This pony was released in multiple ways. So sometimes the leaves are just one color in this purple. Um, then it has a different color. So it was released in multiple ways. Um, but with these two colorings, it is the Pretty Parlor Ivy from 1998. It's supposed to come as well with some like stones, ring stones in the eyes. Unfortunately, they are missing as well. Here, what it is glitter or shimmering is not a stone or a gem. It is just like the background from the eye. <laughs> um, but yeah. It is really cool. The hair is fantastic. We got here purple and pink. Nice color combination. The um, pony itself is kind of mint color, so really um, light green. Not in the best condition. It has some scratches and whatever there, but this is a pony that I will definitely keep. Um, it is so cute. It is not cut. The hair is still long, really adorable, but in combination with the drawer, I just have to keep both of them. So. Look, it is it is this pony, <laughs> and the the these circumstances that I find the pony that is here on this picture frame is amazing. I cannot I cannot with that that circumstance. I cannot with this like unexpected things. It's so cool. I love it when that happens. But I'm, sometimes it's also kind of creepy. Like, huh? Okay, good. We have it. <laughs> but um, I love it. So. These two pieces definitely belong in case if I ever ever wanted to sell then I will sell them together. 
Even though that this pony Ivy is not the original that came with this set, Ivy came actually also with a different dresser, but um, from the picture they are the same, so why not placing them together? But at this point, I will keep both of them, so they are just the coolest. <laughs> yeah, now we are already at the end of this video. I hope you really like this video. Please go and check out more videos on my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button and we'll see us in the next video with Vintage Gaudi. Bye!